What three foods do you eat to keep your body healthy? If I had to choose three foods, it would be... I love zucchini. I could eat my body weight in zucchini. Watermelon, pineapple and broccoli, but not at the same time. Broccolini. It's like a, it's like a <laughs> fancy broccoli <laughs> but um yeah it's got like it's just nice and crunchy and green and you can put some garlic in it and it tastes good <laughs> steam it but not too much so that it doesn't turn mushy so it's just right not too crunchy not too soft i like to eat kangaroo meat mm. I mean, it's, a, it's a good lean meat that's really good for you and i i still um go out hunting and, and get it for myself i love a lot of vegetables and i love green things from my garden because i grew them myself but i also love um fish as well so the greens are really really good um and they're very very simple um i really like mushrooms i'm like oh crazy about mushrooms you know i love um getting a whole bunch of veggies and chucking them in the oven and then throwing some like letting it all cool down and then just throwing them um in with some um baby spinach leaves and uh, a little bit of sometimes a little bit of feta i i gotta make sure i'm eating veggies that's one thing that i have trouble with I love my fruit, but it's veggies that I've got to make sure I'm, I'm eating a lot more of and be a bit more mindful around it. How do you stay physically healthy? What do you do? Jiu-jitsu and kickboxing. I've been doing it ever since I was little. So when I'm home, I go to the gym and I walk. And in summertime, I paddle, I like paddling. You know, when you're an artist, it is a crazy job because you sit on a chair all day, sometimes for 10 hours a day. I don't find myself much of a gym person, so I'm going to tell you something secret that I do. And I have this whole routine. I go cycling every day for at least an hour. I ride my bicycle. This year I've, I've made it so that I'm going to the gym like at least um, every second day. So I go online and I dial up like a five-minute workout video. <laughs> so if you walk past my window when I'm taking a break from writing, you might see me doing something really silly like aerobics but not in 80s gear. And uh, the best thing about that is you don't have to get dressed and you don't have to go out. Um, I do exercises in the middle of the day. So I do stretches. So I exercise really frequently, um, you know, four or five nights a week. And then in the morning, I like jogging, skipping. I'll pull a tire around. Yeah, um, I do it all. <laughs> I know this is going to sound really, really daggy, but I treat cleaning my house like an exercise. What, what things do you do for your mental health? How do you stay mentally healthy? So I try and take lots of long walks, lots of long baths. I exercise, I walk every day, I go to the river if I can. Exercise regularly, uh, eat pretty balanced, healthy diet. I cuddle my dog. Getting out back to the land, that, that's the best feeling for me. I also write every day. Because when I, when I get on country, on uh, especially my country, I, I, I have that feeling of, of a tree with roots but like, all the way through my feet and that's what helps me like the most around art helps me to um make sense of what's going on in my brain and it helps me to stop overthinking for me my biggest thing i want to do is stay in my room and never leave and just draw 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 all the time but of course i go a little bit nuts after a few days of never leaving the house and just drawing and I start throwing things at the computer screen and getting like really annoyed with my drawings. So it's all about balance. You know, mental health is all about balance. Even if it's the thing you love the most, you need to still go out, see people, go for a walk, see a show, you know, get some other things in your life. And to remind myself to drag myself out of my fantasy world and to visit friends and family. Um, one thing that I've had to recognize lately is I have to be more social. Um, I'm a pretty introverted person. I like my personal space, but um, I noticed because I live and work alone, like it started being like, well, you need to go see people every day and talk to someone and be outside your own head for a little while. Uh, and do some exercise, of course. And I think this is really the key. No matter how much um, something interests you or takes up your time, you need to find time for all the other things in your life to make sure that you can do it well and stay happy and healthy.